Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If your dream is to become a data scientist or a data analyst, then cracking the SQL interview is a very important stage for attaining your dream. Myself, MLU Prasad, I'm a mentor for data science and analytics. I can help you overcome this obstacle by explaining all the various questions asked in top companies for SQL, which are, avail which are also available in the LeetCode platform. All my code solutions for the questions available in LeetCode platform are there in my GitHub repository. The link for that is available in the chat description given below. And also in addition to that, I have segregated the channel into 5 playlists which are easy, medium and hard depending upon the uh, toughness of the question and all the paid questions which are for the premium membership of the lead code platform i have also kept that videos in the premium playlist and they have combined all the premium non premium and the, all the different toughness level questions into one single playlist and they have ordered into sequence wise ordering depending upon the sequence is there in the lead code platform let us see the question which we are trying to solve it today it is question number 1731 the number of employees which re which report to each employee okay Let's see. This is asked in quarter byte. Okay. They are having employee table, employee ID, name. Okay. The employee ID is there, their name, and who are they reporting to age. Okay. The employee ID is the primary key for this table. This table contains information about the employees and the ID of the managers to they report to. So some employees do not report to anyone, report to null. Okay. Okay, if they are not reporting, it means it's null. Okay, for this problem, we will consider a manager and employee who has at least one other employee reporting to them. Okay, so what we do is uh, we just take a inner join of these things. I will show you how to do that. After that, what they have done, write an SQL query to report the IDs and names of all the employees. All the managers, the name of employee who report to them, and the average age of reports rounded to the nearest integer. Okay. Okay, let's see. Let's take this input table or let's take this one. Okay. If you see, there are employees 9, 6, 4, 2, okay. 9 doesn't report to anyone, so it is null, okay. 9 is there, 6 is there, 4 is there, 2 is there, okay. 9 doesn't report to anyone, okay, 0. Means nobody does that. For And 6 reports to null, okay, 6 reports to null, so plus 1 for 9, okay. 4, 4 also reports to 9 plus 1 to 9 okay 2 reports to none 0 so number of people who report to 9 are 2 number of people who report to 6 are 0 number of people who report to 4 are 0 and number of people who report to 2 are also 0 how can we see that let's say that Let's combine these two tables using a self-join. Self-join means a table connecting to itself only. Let's remove this output table. Let's join employee ID of this table to reports of this table. Okay. Now we can see that only nine is getting matched to this table so there will be two rows right nine what are the matching rows nine her c null something 43 2 6 allies 9 41 this is the first row which is will be matching second row also nine this one means nine RC uh, null 43 
again for Bob nine thirty six. Now what they are asking is whom they are matching employee ID name means these two things are matching report count how many number of uh, reporters who are getting managed if you see two rows means they are taking the employee ID after joining these two tables they are taking the employee ID name counting the number of rows in the third thing and they are doing the average of people who are getting reported for example you can see the age of people who are reported to 9 are 41 and 36 here. 41 plus 36 average by 2 will be something 30, 38.5. Okay. But they have kept a condition what? Round off to the nearest integer. Okay. 38.5 nearest integer will be 39. Okay. If it is that greater than 38 point, let's say the 38.4. It becomes 38 if it is 38.6 it becomes 39 okay now what we need to do we need to jump combine these two tables using employee ID and report so that we can know know how many people are getting report for each customer after that we will take this employee ID name count the number of rows by the uh, grouping combination of this average age we can take the average of the age column after grouping that and we will round up that to the nearest thing let's write the quality for that from employees table a in a join employees table b on Let's say uh, employee id equal to b dot reports to okay now we have joined these two tables only matching rows will be there now what we will do we need to group by the combination of employee id comma name and we need to select the same two things employee name id comma name comma how many rows are there that becomes as reports count and the average of which column age column as we need to multiply into 100 into 1.2 because in uh, MS SQL Server if we do average of anything it will return an integer value let's say that uh, 6 by 4 if you have done it will not return 1.5 it will return 1 only to return the answer as 1.5 you need to multiply into 1.0 a floating point number in SQL Server to get the average average as average age let's run it Uh, what is that? There is an ambiguous name. Okay, which column to select? A dot employee name. Uh, same A dot name there. because both are having the same name. Mm. Okay, here also same A dot employee name. A dot name. age what is age okay here also it should be a dot age oh, no it should not be a dot age it should be b dot age if you see we have taken let's just call it as a table this is this left side b table from a we have taken this employee id name but average of age we have taken from b table here right 
so b dot h let's run it ah there was a mistake what is okay we need to round off to the nearest integer round let's keep it zero because we don't want any decimal I think it got successfully submitted. Let's submit it. Okay, there was an error. Let me see. Okay, did they told you to okay order by order is required. Order by employee ID. How they ordered? I think I think ascending only. It got accepted. Let's submit it. Yes, all the test cases has been successfully uh, passed out. Thanks for watching my video. If you want more detailed explanations like this, please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends or study colleagues who are there whom you think it will be beneficial just be disciplined complete all the videos which are there in my videos there are nearly 230 questions which are there in the lead code platform just complete it it's your dreams don't give up keep hustling keep growing and keep pushing yourself